if you just right. be so kind as to uh, queue up Kate the Cons, I have some this things Kate to say. Kate the executive producer of the Waste Spotters podcast, and I support the rant of the week. Hold on, before you get started, let me give you a little motivation. Okay. The way that this was rolled out is a huge slap in the face to wayfarers everywhere. Full stop. Niantic has tried to drill into our heads that we're not nominating Pokestops or Portals or Flowers or Mining Nodes or whatever Peridot uses. We're nominating Waste Spots, points of interest that will appear on the Lightship database for Niantic games to use however they see fit. Wayfarers, myself included, have spent days, weeks, months of our own time to go out, explore, and find and curate these new way spots and add them to the Lightship database so that licensed Niantic games or whoever can use them for whatever purposes they want. Like, I don't know, points of interest on a new game board? Power spots? Maybe? You know, that would be the perfect chance to use them. Using a third-party mapping op option for this is akin to Niantic smacking us across the face for our trouble. What's worse is they didn't even audit the locations that they were going to use before throwing them on the map. It's like a restaurant pulling up to a fish market and going, eh, give me everything. I don't have time to check them. You know what's going to happen at that restaurant? Some of their customers are going to end up eating bad fish. We're all eating bad fish. Pogo team must watch a lot of Oprah. You get a power spot. You get a power spot. Everyone gets power spots. Wayfair Pool says you can't have a power stop at your house. Or a Pokestop at your house. Pogo says, home business listed on Google, power spot. Wayfair rules say you can't have a Pokestop that's a random business. Pogo says, Mike's Industrial Machine Shop sounds like a swell place for a power spot. Wayfair rules say you can't have Pokestops on school grounds. Pogo says, school schmool, power spot. Wayfair rules say you can't have a Pokestop in the middle of the road. It's unsafe. Pogo says, eh, just wait till there's, like, no traffic or something. You'll be fine. I could go on and on. Tons of power spot locations are questionable at best and dangerous at worst. You know what? The Pogo team doesn't care. You know why they don't care? Because the majority of the Pogo community doesn't care. More stops, more gyms, more power spots. This serves as another sad example of how the teams of Niantic are in silos. The Ingress team just wiped a bunch of Foursquare portals from their map because they had no pictures. It breaks the immersion of the game, so they removed them. What, like a week later, the Pogo team just throws a bunch of undocumented, uncontrolled POIs on the game board like they're a drunk college kid trying to win a bet with a blindfold and a dartboard. They're the perfect opportunity here to reward Pogo players who have spent time, effort, and money. Yes, money. Gas is expensive. Going out and nominating Lightship only or Ingress only way spots by using them for this new game feature. It would have motivated people to go out and nominate Lightship only. It would have not motivated Pogo players to go out and nominate things that didn't, wouldn't appear on the map. Hell, I would have been perfectly content to have just thrown a couple in places, geofence parks, malls, businesses, and left them unnamed and called it a day. Then you could have made the argument that they're just random. It doesn't really matter. But they didn't do that. They went around the Wayfarer system and said, "Sure, what you've given up is uh, what you've given us is good, but this other pile of stuff that we paid for need to use. So sorry about your luck." And POI vomited them all over the POI P Pogo game board, and it's it's terrible. I'm sorry, it's terrible. Look, I know the Pogo community doesn't care, and doing it this way is probably the easiest way to do it. And it's likely a more inclusive way to include rural trainers. But it's ugly. It's really ugly. And there's no QA here. There's no vetting of the locations. They picked a bunch of locations and just threw them onto the map. Wiped their hands. High-fived each other and moved on. They could have handled this so, so much better. And at the end of the day, this is bad for Wayfair. It's deflating for all the Wayfarers out there who are out there following the rules. It's confusing to Wayfinders out there who are just trying to get a handle on the rules seen it a dozen times already oh this is eligible now no 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 it's not but why not niantic put it on the map themselves how do you argue that logic with someone you can't 
you can't say, oh, Niantic says that's not eligible, but then Niantic put it on the game app. Like, you just, you, you can't argue that. So, I, shame on the Pogo team. Shame on Niantic for letting this happen. Um, thank you to everyone who submitted examples on Twitter and in the forums and on the game. I think I used most of them. Um, I just, this upsets me. And I think it's going to upset me. I think you're right. I think it's going to blow over in a couple of weeks, but I think this is going to upset me for a long time. 